Hey, okay, I have an assignment for everybody. Um, I just thought it would be kind of cool and kind of fun. Uh, I was listening to my hometown preacher this morning, uh, Jay Scott, at Empower Church in, it's actually Hicksville, Ohio. Yes, there is truly a Hicksville, Ohio, and it is right next to my hometown of Defiance, Ohio. Anyway, so Jay Scott from Empower Church. Today, uh, in his sermon along the way, he said, who are you? And he was using um, a scripture from Colossians. And he said, who are you? And and I was like, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that's what I got to talk about. <laughs> so so hopefully tomorrow sometime I'll, um, I'll get all this together and then I'll talk about it tomorrow. But who are you? Who are you? And instantly I thought of this uh, scripture that my mom used to say all the time, and there's a story to go along with this, but my mom would always say, um, it's in 1 Corinthians. Can you see that? Oh, man, eh, I can't do that word. Some of these people are so good at this stuff. Um, it's in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, and it says, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. And my mom used to always say, look at that. See, even the light's in the way. <laughs> um, my mom would always say that your body is the temple of God and you need to be careful about what you put in it. And that just, whew, doesn't that go everywhere? Um, what you put in it, what you put in, what you see, what you hear, um, what you eat, um, everything, what you put in it. <clears throat> even, um, you know, even when we talk about being intimate, being sexually intimate, what you put in your body matters all the time, no matter what. So um, who are you? And I got to tell this story on my mom. I will never forget. I was in the eighth grade and I, I don't know, for some reason, I guess it, it was a party. Um, I have boys and girls at the house and my parents were, I grew up Southern Baptist and you know, there was just no, um, no drinking, no swearing. We went to church, you know, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesdays. Of course I grew up singing gospel music. And so I was usually in other churches or in campgrounds during the summer singing. So, um, you know, boys were not allowed upstairs at all because the bedroom, bedrooms were upstairs, and so boys weren't even allowed upstairs. Um, so there were boys and girls in my house. I have no idea why my mom let me do that. Um, and some high school boys had heard that I was having a party. <laughs> what would possess them? Well, they were. I think they were out, you know, having a little bit of a hullabaloo. So that's probably what possessed them. <laughs> Comes to Amy LeMaster's house with my little bitty Southern Baptist mom. She has this itty bitty teeny tiny thing. She's five foot tall. And she opens the door and here are these rowdy boys with beer cans in their hands. And I did not, I think maybe I was coming up at the stairs at the most traumatic part. But so here I am, eighth grade, these high school boys show up at my house with beer cans in their hands. And my mom says, this is the temple of God. And I think that's why I didn't have very many dates all the way through high school. <laughs> But there's my story and my most vivid memory of this scripture. But um, so our physical house was the temple of God, but also our physical body is the temple of God. And that's um, part of who I am. Who are you? So I want you guys, here's the assignment. I want you to tell me who you are. Who does God say we are? Who do we know? We are. So give me some scriptures, um, especially, but if there are other things you want to put in there that are something that you've read or whatever that helps you to know who you are, I really, really want to know. Ooh, look, okay, here I go. I want to know who you are. And then tomorrow I'm going to put a whole bunch of these things together and talk about, um, you know, when devil, when the, when Satan comes at me and he says, who do you think you are, girl? That way we can speak it back to him and we can tell him, I am. It is written, my father says, this is who I know I am. And um, I just thought it would be really fun and so important. So um, this is all Jay Scott's fault. Um, but remember, your body is the temple of God. It is not your own. It was bought at a price, at a very high price. So, um, and I have some other scriptures that immediately came to my mind, but who are you? I want you to tell me. I'll be like those professional ones. You can put it right down here in the comment section because <laughs> I'm always so professional about these things, right? So tell me, who is it that you are? Who are you? Who do you think you are? 
more importantly, who do you know you are? So let me know. I'll put them together. I can't read them all. You can message it to me if you want to. You can put it down there in the comments. <laughs> I feel so cool right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.